Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded video where you guys guessed that it, it's update day. They've gone through and they have done some more changes and more bug fixing to the game of Grounded to make it so all of you will be ready for when the Bug Strike Back update comes out. They have been focusing on our Xbox friends, trying to fix their crafting issues, fixing their crashing issues, and going through. And they said they fixed a bunch of generalized crashing issues that are happening on Xbox Series S. But we're going to be going over the complete list of the different things that they've done for the update. But before we do that look at this weird thing over here this is now the new wafter this thing right here this thing is beautiful look at it oh look at it more on this in just a moment so let's hop over and let's check out some of those notes that they've done that are fixed over in the discord all right so here we are back in the grounded server discord server i should say and we have another note from shyla saying they brought public tests from 3721 to 3723 uh, they fixed constant crashing for Xbox Series S and fixed performance issues for Xbox Series S. So all of you guys who play on Xbox where your game was crashing all the time, they are seriously trying to get this fixed for you guys. So you got to remain in there. Be patient. They're working on it. They're getting fixed. Keep playing. Keep telling them every time you're having those crashing issues so that way they can get it fixed for all of you guys. All right. So here's another big thing that's been changed. Armor glue is back or it's now called repair glue. Okay. So repair glue has been reworked on upgraded weapons and armor. So in order to repair all weapons and armor that are tier six or higher, they new have a, they have a new repair recipe called repair glue. Repair glue can be crafted in the new crafting station, the glue factory and also weapons and armor of zero to five are now normal recipes as usual it's the same old same old armor upgrade scraps and plates now unlocks have been moved so if you guys want those armor upgrade scraps and plates you know the grub ones the berry leather ones and the pupa leather ones those have been changed now so the grub plates and scraps are now unlocked via the same purchase as the smithing station and the price has been reduced to 100 raw science for the smithing station and already to be able to get those upgrade scraps boom right away only 100 raw science making it easier for all of us who play new games when you start over they're already giving you that ability to go through and be able to get the smithing station that much sooner literally the raw science pickup that you can get inside of the oak lab can now pay for the smithing station fantastic job developers that is wonderful all right the berry plates and scraps are now unlocked from the hedge chip in the bundle with the glue factory and the pupa plates and scraps are now unlocked the same chips as the weapon upgrade jewels price 1000 raw science daggers have been upgraded down candy paths can harvest underwater again underwater creatures have had their resistances and weaknesses to chopping damage replaced with slashing damage to accommodate the new dagger damage type Repair hammer damage doubled. Repairs twice as fast. So that way, you know, when you're going there and you're sitting there using the repair tool and you're like, what the heck? Why is this taking so long? It's been fixed. It repairs twice as quick. Hopefully that's not game breaking and I'll explain more when we get into the game. The Waft Provoker has new art. You guys just saw that a second ago. We're going to go back and look at it a little bit more though. Attacks triggered by the Waft Provoker will end if the Waft Provoker is destroyed. This was working before, but I'm sure it kind of broke in one of their updates. So they're probably just fixing it again. Uh, attacks triggered via the Waft Provoker are allowed to do more destructive uh, payback uh, and then can be considered delivered uh, before payback can be delivered considered delivered so in other words what that means is if you trigger a wafter okay the waft provoker and you trigger a whole bunch of bugs to come to your base they will now destroy even more of that base so be careful when triggering these things and then uh, they tune some of the bug parts that can be placed in the waft provoker to add more range than before or rage than before so in other words some of the parts will now make the bugs even more angry and summon more of them depending on which ones you put in there getting you to the point of being able to send some bugs into a complete tizzy by just adding in three or four parts so let's hop back into grounded and let's check even more of this out shall we all right so here we back are at the waft provoker again and you guys can see this new artwork it's absolutely gorgeous i love this new artwork that they've gone through and done for it it looks good it looks disgusting it's perfect it's literally like a ladybird shell with some bee parts you can see like a bee antenna right there a bee wing looks like we have a stink bug leg back here um a bombardier leg maybe a mosquito leg right here you can also see a couple ladybug legs coming out of the top over here i'm not 
seeing any ant parts. Maybe you guys are seeing well, right there. That looks like an ant leg right there. So all in all, really, really cool artwork. It is on this pedestal as well, guys. If I go through to build another wafter here, um, you guys can see it's actually on that pedestal. So that comes with it base. So that's really cool. Let's see if the price for it was changed. It was not. It is still the exact same as it was before. Let's fix my screen, shall we? So much better. But anyway, yeah, so that's there. At least we didn't miss anything out of what I was explaining. But yes, all in all, the Waff Provoker looks a lot better. Now, for all of you guys who wanted to know about the bug resistances on our way back over here, let's look at the two creatures in the pond that can actually do damage to you and that actually have weaknesses and resistances by going over and looking inside of the new card system. So what are we looking for, guys? We are looking for Diving Bell Spiders and Water Fleas. So let's start with our good old buddy, the Water Flea. It's got a really cute card, right? So it's says right here that their weaknesses are now Woo! there we go uh, the weaknesses are now stabbing and salty resistance to fresh and slashing so this guy you're going to be better off to poke with a spear and then our good old friend the diving bell spider is the opposite you're better off attacking this one with a dagger getting in close and fighting it where it's weak to salty but it has resistance to stabbing and fresh so they've changed up those also the the water boatman and the tadpole no changes there exactly the same as they were before so no resistances no weaknesses they're just there floating around and the only other thing that's in the water guys is our good old friend the koi fish and you shouldn't be fighting that anyway so don't go fight that all right, so let's go back over here and let's look at this new glue factory. So as you guys know, you need to unlock all of these new things using that the raw science and getting the armor glue and what have you. That's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but thankfully, it's actually not that hard to unlock it with all the changes to the amount of raw science that it takes in order for you to unlock them. I.e., with it only being 100 raw science to unlock your smithing station, are you crapping me? That's absolutely fantastic. That is wonderful. I enjoy that. You guys have no idea how excited I'm about that because even trying to get the 2000 I think it was before to unlock the smithing station in woe mode in the beginning was like Okay, I can do this. Hopefully the burgle quests aren't that hard But yeah, so when you come in here to the ASL you go right into the science shop and you guys can find it in here You guys can see that right here advanced smithing pupa plates is now in here for a thousand raw science It unlocks the pupa plates This is also supposed to unlock all of your advanced smithing things with gems as well So that's a thousand raw science now but let's hop up here and let's look at the new glue station and i'm going to tell you guys for one i think it's going to get a graphical update definitely but two look at it it's the old smithing it's the old smoothie station guys look at this it's so cute except for the fact that the legs move and i really 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 am uncomfortable with the way that those legs are moving look at that Ooh, i don't think that's supposed to be doing that I don't think that's supposed to be doing that at all. But anyway, uh, the new glue factory recipe, guys, is actually super duper simple right now. I also think that that's going to get upgraded. And they need to change the artwork for it right here. The glue factory, it's one egg corn top and five sprigs. If they're not going to change the glue factory recipe, they definitely just need to stop those legs from moving because that looks a little... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, but yeah, so I think that that's probably going to get updated at some point to give us a different look for a glue factory. Um, maybe just giving it a, a little bit of a, a graphical update and it could stay looking just like that and I'm fine with it. Uh, all the different repair glue on the inside is built with different bug parts. I don't know if roly poly gear is going to require roly poly part and roly poly glue to, to repair. That doesn't make any sense because we have bombardier part glue which doesn't make any sense or um, well I suppose all the stink bug we don't have any stink bug gear except for a gas mask so um, I doubt we're gonna need that glue specifically because when you come in here it's just repair glue it doesn't say that it's there to repair uh, that specific thing so it looks like that all in all it's just gonna be repair glue that can be made with multiple different things in the backyard I'm assuming this is probably gonna get changed as well so sometime in the future we're probably even gonna be getting some sort of acid or changed recipe in order to make this as well but guys that is going to do it for this update guys that's what has happened so far in the public test that's what's been changed let's get pete some food and some water that way i don't have everybody in the comments asking me sim why are you dying what i prefer for you guys to put down in those comments is hey man i like this or i don't like this or i hope that they change this so let me know down there while you guys are down there smack that like button for me and if you haven't hit that big old red button that says subscribe and if you guys could have a great day and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one